When Jonathan set out to tell this story, he set out to change the way people think about the Marvel mutants forever. Very early in me coming into the X-Men, they said to me, this is what's going on right now, this is what's going on here, you're gonna have to come up with stuff here, but summer 2019, Jonathan Hickman's gonna come in and he's pitching for it. We want you to hear him out and see what he's got. He is going to do something big with these characters. You can tell Jonathan has a lot of fondness for those characters, for the, the ideas around the X-Men, but he's also taken all that stuff and doing something very, very new with it, which I think is a very X-Men idea. Not just doing the same soap opera over and over, not just picking the bones of those great runs and, and books and moments from the past, but doing something completely new with those characters. The reason why I've been hired to work on a book is to do my version of the book. If not, I'm just a writer who's writing the most neutral generic version of the archetypal version of the X-Men. I think it's important for me as an artist, as an author, as a writer, to do what my version of it is. Jonathan, I think, is somebody who has the amazing ability to take a look at stuff that has always been there and take a look at it from a slightly different angle and sort of go, yeah, but did you ever notice that about it? The power of the Marvel Universe is, is our super consistency of our overall continuity, like we've been telling the same story for 50 years. One of the things that I do is I use that mechanism to create an internal continuity into the books that I'm doing. So if I'm telling a longer story, it remains consistent to itself, and so it feels super relevant to the people that have been reading it, whether you're on issue one or issue 50 or 60 or whatever that I'm doing. Jonathan came into the office for a meeting, and he told us his plan. What happens in House of X and Powers of X isn't gonna be a thing that only affects the five characters on the cover of House of X number one. It's a story that spans all of mutant kind, and that, in turn, will affect the entire Marvel Universe. If you look at the work that I've done at Marvel to a certain extent, there are elements that I was playing with at the time that are pervasive, certainly through Fantastic Four and Avengers. I did a lot of alt-reality, temporal shenanigans. A lot of that is just me being in a mood at a certain point in time, me playing with, with those kind of things that I've always thought about. I have this big canvas and I can do it as big as I want to do it in the fashion that I want to. We're not doing any of that. There's no alternate universe version of the X-Men that we're doing, time travel or any of that kind of stuff. This is a very cause and effect, very linear, narratively straightforward story. I think it's really exciting. I mean, the stuff he has planned for X-Men, it really shakes things up. The first time he told it to me, I was upset. I was like, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. The more I thought about it, the more I went, well, wait, hang on, what if we did? I was immediately impressed by how thorough it was and how intricate it was and how, you know, how brilliant his planning is and how his idea was. And I can't tell you why. <laughs> but I didn't think it would, I was like, we can't do that. I think the most important thing about X-Men is obviously the way that individual readers identify with characters. Different being a metaphor for special and all the different variations that that comes in. My obligation is to be true to the character even though you're putting them in new circumstances and, and be true to the spirit of what it means to write an X-Men book. That's kind of my guiding principle. I'm supposed to do it my way but it's supposed to be a new version of that familiar thing. And that's the challenge and what we're trying to do. The X-Men is one of those books I think should always be evolving, right? That's sort of baked into the idea. Those characters shouldn't stay the same. I'm super excited for what he's going to be doing next. I think you'd probably have to go back to Grant Morrison to find something that's both as much of a sea change for the franchise, but ultimately staying completely true to those constant themes and those constant things that the X-Men has always been about. I feel like uh, Jonathan's take on the X-Men is going to be the thing that people have been waiting for. It feels like that lightning in a bottle. As much great history as the X-Men have had, the mutants' best days are ahead of them. What Jonathan's doing in this is setting up ideas for the X-Men and how people will think of the X-Men. 
And so that doesn't just go for the readers, that goes for the writers as well. That goes for whoever is going to write X-Men in the future, next month, be it a year down the line, be it 10 years down the line. One trait of my books that I like to do with this big superhero stuff, I like to put the characters in a position that they have to make difficult choices. I like to ask hard questions of the core of the character. What does it mean to be a mutant? It's not a clearly delineated win or loss. It's maybe this is right, maybe this other thing was right, and then we'll watch it unfold for a couple years. Yeah.